Hi, in this video, we are going to continue our discussion on how to write chapter 2, which is method or methodology. So, tapos na nating na-discuss yung research design at saka research local. Ngayon naman, pag-usapan natin kung paano magsulat or how to write um, population and sample. Okay? So, we have here, again, just a review yung uh, chapter 2 methodology. It is composed of research design, research local, population and sample, yung pangatlo, which we are going to discuss in this video. And then after that, meron pang research instrument, data collection procedures, statistical tools used, and the ethical consideration. Okay. So, punta tayo sa population and sample. Ang population and sample dito, it describes the respondents of the study. Okay? Ano ba yung characteristics ng uh, respondents ng research study mo? And you have to justify why you selected those respondents if it is necessary. Are you going to use the population, the whole population as your respondents? Or pipili, pipili ka lang dun, um, uh, pipili ka lang ng sample from your population? Uh, we call that random sampling. Okay? And of course, you have to support your presentation. Pag uh, gumamit ka ng random sampling, you have to support your presentation by showing the distribution of your respondents. Okay? Pero kapag ka ginamit mo naman yung whole population mo, yung tinatag natin universal sampling, ibig sabihin lahat ng uh, population ay ginamit mo as respondents, then you don't have to show the distribution of respondents. Okay? So, ito yung example ng population and sample. Um, kuha ito sa, um, yun, sumampung et al. Na study, uh, senior high school. So, universal sampling again. Lahat ng population ay uh, ginamit mo in your study. Um, let's see. Ah, hindi pala ito sumampung et al. Um, ito yata, di ko na matandaan. Okay, um, but this one, kapag ka universal sampling, uh, halimbawa ang population ng study mo ay senior high school students. So, lahat ng senior high school students ay uh, i-consider mo as participants. Lahat sila in-interview mo. Ay kinunan mo ng data. So, that's universal sampling. If that's the case, then you don't have to show the distribution of respondents yung parang naka-table form. Okay, so ito na lang yung ipapakita. Um, universal sampling, of course, um, right after your research local, ito kaagad yung susunod, no? population and sample. Universal sampling method was used in determining the participants of this study, which involved the senior high school students, particularly the grade 12 students of a private secondary school found in Barangay Ilang, Davao City. Ito, describe na lang natin yung school kasi for data privacy, we are not allowed to disclose the name of the school. The total population was 78 students composed of 47 or 60.3% students from grade 12 Mercury. This is a section. Then 20 or 25.6% students from grade 12 Venus and 11, that's 14.1% students from grade 12 Neptune. Ito may kulang. May kulang lang yung um, explanation or discussion niya dito about the population and sample. Hindi niya nilagay kung um, bakit, bakit yun ang respondents na ginamit niya, uh, bakit yun ang pinili niyang population, uh, bakit yun ang pinili niyang respondents, and um, yun. So, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung sample na mula sa akin. Uh, may mga deleted ano lang siya kasi this was um, done or conducted in 2016, 2015-2016. So, hindi pa ano nun ang data privacy. Kaya na-mention dito yung pangalan ng mga schools. Okay? Kaya dinilit ko siya. So, population and sample. Universal sampling method was used in determining the participants of the study, which was composed of all grade 10 students both male and female. So, yung characteristics, no? Dinescribe ang mga respondents. From the two private secondary schools in Barangay Ilang, Davao City. 
Okay. Among all students in junior high school, grade 10 students were chosen considering their level of maturity, understanding, and exposure to mathematics lesson. Um, tandaan natin ang title ng study nito ay School Climate and Mathematical Dispositions of Grade 10 Students. So, ito yung um, nag explain bakit grade 10 ang pinili kong respondents. Okay? Um, the total number of population was 118 students. They were all included and nobody was excluded. So, kaya nga, universal sampling kasi lahat sila sinali, ano? So, there were 56 students or 47.46% who were from school A. Okay? So, pangalan sana ito ng school. Um, pero for data privacy, uh, hindi na natin i-mention yung uh, particular name ng school. Um... Instead, we are going to um, use school A, school B, or company A, company B, ganon. So, um, who were from school A and 62 students or 52.54% who came from school B. Out of the 118 participants, 63 or 53.39% were male, while 55 or 46.61% were female. Okay? So, ganito ang description ng population and sample. Ngayon, hindi naman masyadong complicated ang life kung ang gagamitin ay universal sampling. Kung lahat ng, ng population or the whole population is taken as respondents. Ngayon, uh, magiging complicated lang siya kapag ka guma gumamit ng random sampling. So, again, uh, yung random sampling, diniscuss na yan ng grade 10 ano? sa statistics part ng, ng uh, grade 10 mathematics. So, i-review -re lang natin. Okay? I-review -re lang natin. Um, again, gagamit tayo ng random sampling if the population is too many, no? If the population is too large. So, kapag ka, uh, kapos ka sa oras, wala ka masyadong panahon para interviewin mo lahat. Uh, kung kapos ka sa budget, yun. At saka, of course, kung kapos ka sa manpower. Alright, wala kang katulong, kasama, magkandat ng study para ma-interview ma mo at makunan mo ng data lahat ng population mo. Um, so, in such cases, then pwede kang gumamit ng random sampling. Ibig sabihin, hindi lahat ng population ay i-interview mo. Okay? So, iilan lang doon. Representative of the sample. So, this is an example of random sampling. So, yun. Stratified random sampling was used in determining the participants of the study. Pwede namang, ano, random sampling lang. No, random sampling was used, pwede namang ganun. Uh, in determining the participants of the study, which was composed of all senior high school students, both male and female, of a particular private uh, school in Barangay Ilang, Davao City. Hindi sana ito all, ano, kasi hindi naman universal sampling yan. So, which was composed of randomly selected senior high school students. Okay, randomly selected senior high school students. The researchers used an online application called rousesoft.com. Ito yung gagamitin natin mamaya to determine the sample size. So, the total number of population was 191 and the sample size was 131. There were 25, that's 19%, students from grade 11 Diamond and grade 11 Emerald. 27 or 20.6% 20 students from grade 11 Ruby. 32 or 24.4% students from grade 12 Mercury. 14 or 10.6% students from grade 12 Venice and 8 or 6.1% students from grade 12 Neptune. Shown below is the distribution of the population in the study. So, ipapakita ngayon ang distribution of the respondents, not population, distribution of respondents, kasi ang ginamit niya, random sampling. Okay, ano ba yung example ng um, distribution of respondents? Para siyang nakatable form, ano, ang, ang, ang differential lang, wala siya ng mga lines. Okay, walang lines yan. Yung title, Distribution of Respondents. Dito, grade and section, or kung anong categories ng, um, categories ng uh, respondents ninyo. Okay, or company A, company B, or 
uh, junior high school department, senior high school department, pwedeng ganun. Or um, HR, um, manpower, or something like that. Or branch 1, branch 2, branch 3. Okay. So, ganun. Ano? And population, kung ilan sila lahat. In this example, sa grade 11, diamond, 37 sila. Emerald, 37 din. Ruby, 39. 47, Mercury, Venus, 20, Neptune, 11. So, ang total niyan, 191. So, this is the population. Okay, this is the population denoted by capital letter N. Okay, kung sa statistics tayo, that's capital letter N. That's 191. That's the whole population. Ngayon, um, ilan dito, how many from 191 Ang i-interview natin, kasi random sampling tayo, ibig sabihin, hindi lahat ng 191 ay interviewin Okay? So, mag, uh, kukuha lang tayo ng ilan sa kanila. So, from this table, we know that the sample size is 131. Sample size is 131. Paano nakuha ito? Okay? So, based dun sa binasa natin kanina, we are going to use rawsoft.com That's um, an online application okay, on how to compute um, the sample size. So, ganito siya. Let's have an example. Okay, open tayo ng browser and then uh, magta-type tayo dito rawsoft rawsoft, ayun na siya, rawsoft.com R-A-O-S O, F, T. So, ito yung lalabas. And then, hahanapin natin yung um, sample size calculator. This one. Sa free tools and then sample size calculator. When you click on that, ito yung lalabas. Remember that we are under the education tie or social sciences. We are using 5% margin of error. Diba? Sabi dun sa hypothesis ninyo, um, Form, uh, the null hypothesis is formulated and tested at 0.05 level of significance. So, we are going to use 5%. Okay na yan. So, dahil 5%, yan, the confidence level is 95%. And what is the population size? So, the population size, di ba alam natin, it's 191. Okay, 191. And then, what is the response distribution? So, pwede na yan, 50%. So, sabi dito, your recommended sample size is 128. Okay, 128. Ma'am, 128 pala. Bakit 131? Remember that 128 is the recommended sample size. Pwede kang sumobra dito, pero hindi ka pwede magkulang. Kasi kung magkulang ka, Ibig sabihin, hindi na valid yung magiging result mo. Kung sumobra ka man sa 128, then that would be better. Okay? That would be better. So, paano ngayon nakuha ang sample size from each section? Okay. So, ngayon, magsusolve tayo. Tandaan natin that the recommended sample size is 128. Okay, 128. Okay, so paano nga ba i-compute ang sample size per section? So, um, let's say hindi, na, hindi pa natin alam ito kasi ang alam lang natin yung recommended sample size which is 128. So, out of that or based on that recommended sample size, ilan, bang, ilan ba ang kukunin natin sa grade 11 diamond? So, out of 37, ilan ba yung, yung i-interviewin natin sa kanila? So, magsusolve tayo. So, we have uh, the population of that section, which is 37. Okay, 37 daw yan. Uh, and then, we have 191. That's the whole population. So, 191. And then, we multiply that to the recommended sample size, which is 128. Okay, from the rawsoft.com. So, that's 128. Ngayon, uh, using your calculators, it's 37 divided by 191, and then we multiply that by 128. So, the answer is 24.79 uh, or 24.8 kung i-round off natin no, with the decimal. Ngayon, masasabi natin, tao kasi yung i-interviewin natin. The population refers to a person, two people. So, wala namang taong um, decimal point. Wala namang taong 24.7, di ba? 
So, ang gagawin natin, kahit na ilan pa yung decimal point niya, as long as may decimal something, um, we need to round it up. So, yung 24.8, gawin na yung 25. Kaya, we have 25 here. Okay? So, um, approximately, this is equal to 25. Okay? So, yung, um, yan, 25. Next, yung sa emerald naman, pareho lang sila, no? 37, kaya 25 pa rin. Yung sa ruby, that's 39. So, that's 39 uh, divided by yung whole population, that's 191. Times yung recommended sample size, that's 128. And so, using your calculator, again, that's 39 divided by 191 times 128, that would give you 26.14 or 26.1361 and so on. Okay? So again, kahit na ano yung decimal, 26.1, uh, kung ira-round off sana yan, that would be 26. But then, kukulangin ang population natin. Uh, kukulangin ang population natin kung babawasan natin yung mga decimals. Ano? So, Ang gawin natin, mag-round up tayo. So, instead of 26 plus 1 tayo, magiging 27. Kaya 27 yan. Alright? And so on. So, i-compute lahat per section. And then, i-add mo yan lahat. I-add mo lahat. So, 25 plus 25 plus 27 plus 32 plus 14 plus 8. And that would give you 131. Ayan, ma'am, lampas na yan sa recommended sample size. Well, that would be better. That's, di ba? That's, that's okay. That's all right. Kasi nga, ang sabi ko kanina, mas okay pa na yung sumobra kaysa yung kukulangin. Okay? So, paano i-compute ang percentage naman? Okay? So, the, the concept here is, what percent of 131 is 25? Okay? So, that's 25 divided by... 131 times 100, of course, kasi percentage tayo. Times 100. Hindi 160 yan, ha? That's 100. So, 25 divided by 131 times 100, that would give you 19%. Okay? 19%. Or pwede yung i-round off yan, 19.1%. Okay? Pwede na isang decimal dito. Isang decimal. So, 19.1, 19.1. Okay. And so, we have here 27 divided by 131 times 100. So, that would give you the answer. And then, i-add nyo yan lahat. That should be 100%. Ma'am, so, mobra, 100.1%. So, okay lang. I-round off. Round off nyo na lang. So, that's still 100%. Okay. Okay. So basically, that's it um, for the population in sample.